How's it going, everyone? I hope that you're already having an absolutely wonderful day. And this one is for my control enjoyers. This will be the cherry on top. As promised, we are playing the absolutely, without question, strongest control build in standard. And that is obviously Orzov Kaya Control. And this is going to be a little bit more of a serious video, less memes and whatnot, because, well, this is seriously the absolutely strongest control build in standard that you can get. It has Kaya, which is blatantly a win condition, and it has things like Invasion of Talvada and access to the best removals in the game. Depopulation, farewell for graveyard control and a lot of other things. Now admittedly, I am keeping a little it a little bit memeish with things like Pyrexian Portal, because in reality you don't need this. You absolutely do not need this. You can remove this, you need to go for four Kayas. Liliana is also probably not necessary. Well she blatantly is not necessary honestly in this. You can just double up on more uh, more draws or whatever if you want. But I honestly, personally, can cannot miss the opportunity to play against something like mid-range green, just dropping her on turn 3 when I go first and just winning the game. Because when you do that against a mid-range player, boys, you're not winning the game. You're crushing their soul and all they will to actually play the game for the rest of the day. Liliana 3 cost, not the strongest thing in the world here. But definitely something that's worthwhile in my opinion. But anyway, back to the serious stuff. So if you want to go serious, you go for four Kayas, three invasions, ditch the Pyrexian portal, go for an extra breach to Multiverse, ditch the Lilianas, probably find a way to get in the second Celestis. And people have been telling me about what's currently happening here. Now, um, there is someone, a YouTuber, who already made ra something like rank 40 in Mythic by playing something like this. So, obviously this is quite amazing. But if, you, if you're if you not new to this channel, you know that we already were using uh, stuff like this like a month, a month and a half ago. Because it was already shredding, despite invoke despair still existing and whatnot but now because of that it's just it's just absolutely off the wall so you got removal farewell to deal with planeswalkers exile effects go for throat shredders edicts more things to deal with planeswalkers and because you're playing white white has the best tools currently in the game to do two things Exile things, deal with the graveyard, and, well, actually, it's four things, because this also deals with artifacts and enchantments. So, that alone is absolutely amazing, you know? A decent life gain and whatnot. Now, as much as I understand, we have already played against builds like this before, and all of them use Sunset Reverie, because the greatest problem for this build is obviously not Control, because Kaya is just the win condition against Control, no questions asked most of the time, you know? But... Aggro can be a little bit problematic, especially red aggro, and that's why people are using Sunset Reverie. Now, you probably don't know this if you haven't played this game for too much of a long time, but if you really never want to deal with aggro, especially in standard, all you need to do is go for 4 Mar March of Regid Sorrows and 4 Parasitic Grips. When you do that, Wizards is instantaneously like, right, this person is not losing against the red, and you almost never uh, no longer see red, because Wizards kind of, for some reason, thinks that this is too much life gain early on for any red against uh, to win against you, so you will literally never see them if you're playing four of Red Sorrows in four Parasitic Grips. And personally, I'm not a fan of uh, Sunset Reverie, because against control matchups, that's really, really, really a dead card. Now against uh, Aggro, amazing card. Four life gain, maybe an extra draw, sometimes very rarely, but you know, sometimes. And you get uh, one, two 1-1 one, one tokens. Perfect, blatantly OP. But I would say you cannot really rely on getting that constantly. But again, without amount of removal early on, it's really good. And Union of the Third Pack, I have talked about this card so often, so much, honestly. It's blatantly busted. It is blatantly the strongest anti-aggro card ever, because you so often get like 6 or 7 HP when you cast this, and that literally just means one thing you get an extra turn against your aggro opponent. This is literally like revitalize on turn two against uh, Monored. 
it's essentially just an extra turn, an extra draw, and a chance for you to cast Depopulate or Farewell. And Farewell, again, blatantly the most overpowered control card that we currently have, because it hits enchantments, graveyards, creatures, artifacts. You literally can just get away with anything. And by the way, this is the secret sauce in case you want to build something with white with control, but you're not sure about everything. 3D Populates, two Farewells is the perfect balance, not because it's actually mathematically sound, but because for some reason this just works in arena. And again, mathematically works in real life is not what works in arena, sadly, as we all know. Remember, if you want to build something strong, you're actually playing against arena, not, not against math or the odds or whatever. But yeah, in any case, even with Lilian, the portal to Pyrexia and whatnot, not playing any Shreldred. You know what I'm actually wondering about? You have pro Some of you have probably seen that video. Does the guy who got 40 Mythic? Uh, I forgot his name, sadly, but probably someone in the comments will, uh, will give it. Uh, does he play Shreldred? One copy, you know, as a value card. And that's what I'm wondering about. Because it's really good, but you know, I, I, it's a little bit whatever and it's a bit tedious sometimes. But it is good Planeswalker removal, so yeah. Well, and obviously you can adjust on the fly. In any case, 24 lands to be specific, 3.5 average mana cost. You think that's much, but not really. We have like, what, 20-ish, 2 and 3 cost cards, which is, you know, not the biggest of deals or whatnot. In any case, it's extremely powerful as already stated before. So, depends on what we run into. Again, if anyone tells you that... It's so rare to actually make something with a 90% win rate. The last time that something like that truly, truly, truly happened, when the 90% win rate was more than 10 games, which was 40 in my situation, was historic Orzov Immortal Lotus build. Well, it wasn't a Lotus build, but you know, what else are you going to call it? Also, ha 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 ha, wizards, please. Oh boy. Well, I was winning games before I started the, started the video, so you know, it is what it is. And now we know that, well, this, this is not going to be a play. But it should not matter that much, hopefully. Unless he drops the thing that increases the cost. Oh, this is some kind of control-ish build. Which means Farewell is going to be pretty good here. Okay, so we have a... I should have dropped uh, the white plane, but it doesn't matter. Honestly, one uh, take one damage. Wow. And you see, Union of the Third Path, easy, easy HP. And you see, this is why I don't like Sunset Reverie currently that much, because Union of the Third Path just, it does enough. It does enough. He's saying good game because, yeah, he, he's land starved. So, uh, I don't know. <sighs> Oof, yeah, this guy's absolutely wasted though. Nasty. He's gonna probably exile the uh, sword and well not exile, but you know farewell Okay, well, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. We can still draw a card and whatnot. Okay, so there is currently a chance by the way that the reason that you can actually make so much happen with for example a build like this is because there's something wrong with Wizards Algren. The last time again at the, at the time I made mythic plus 100 uh, was literally the time. Oh, this is gonna be a bit annoying. But I can exile it, which is something I'm probably gonna do. Wedding announcement is too, too, too annoying, honestly, to deal with. So, it is what it is. Can't play the Kai, so yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just go for it. We have a farewell, so it's, it's not really an issue too much here. Okay, too bad I can't play anything else, but we do have the removal, so not the biggest of deals. Could have honestly waited until my opponent's turn, but whatever. Silax! Jeez Louise! Man, some, so, so, someone's doing the down and dirty. Okay. So, what do I do? Do I farewell the Silax? I honestly could. Let's see if he's actually... Uh, let's see if we can force his hand. I don't like playing in Silaxes. You already know, because I use Silaxes on my own. The discard is a little bit busted because it prevents people from doing things. And another Faithful Absence. Okay, okay. Hmm. Do I just wait? 
I can play Wonkai. Yeah, I can play Wonkai. Though, do I draw a card? No, no, no. We just, we just go for the throat here. Also, in reality, Kaya is plenty enough to be a solo win condition, if anyone's wondering. Because the simple reality of the matter is, uh, no one on average... Jeez, ma... Whoa! That's a bit big sus. Is it time, though? I think it's time, I think it's time. Exile graveyards, exile enchantments... Actually, ex get, give. Let's get rid of everything. Because I want that bad boy back, okay? Uh, still have the card advantage. Might as well push for more damage. And again, it's like... It's not a problem. Kaya alone is gonna be enough. Dude, wh what is this guy even doing with his life? <laughs> this is insane in the membrane. Well, whatever. I'm dealing damage, so... Uh, good on you, mate. And we're doing this. Probably don't need go for the throat. Uh, depopulate. Also, no need to depopulate, honestly. Probably actually was smarter, yeah, to keep depopulate and go for the throat because of, you know, uh, things, things like this with the announcement. Okay, okay. On each end doing stuffs and MacGuffins, yo. Uh, not a. Actually, you know what? Let, let me be a competitive gamer for a moment there, okay? Competitive game of style. Sacrifice Planeswalker, let's go, baby. Let's go! And then I can just minus... Actually, yeah, I can minus that without any problems, really. Okay, so let's just minus it. As you can see, it's just working swimmingly. Ooh, even a field of ruin. Well, doesn't really matter too much. I think he's gonna cut and style exit, but again, we have another Kai, so what do we honestly care, right? Do you have protect? Good! I didn't want to see that card. So, there's a big chance he drew the land here, and let's see this, he Silax this. Dude, this guy's insane, though. I like what he's doing. I like, honestly, what he's doing. Admittedly, the overlap with the Silaxes is a little bit, like, sus, but, you know, it is what it is. In any case, uh, sh Dude! <laughs> My dude! Seriously, did you not expect that? That that's that's a bit much. I'm not gonna lie. That 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 is a bit much. Okay, we have more Kayas, and again, this is just the win condition. We constantly prog that. Could have swapped the Celestas, but I think it's fine. Also, remember, like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's not uh, it's not often we actually do this seriously. Oh, actually, I did not uh, finish uh, finish the talk about, uh, the, you know, how this works. So, most of the time, if you actually have, like, a 90% win rate in, uh, you know, 10 plus games. 10 games, 90% win rate, by the way, is possible. And it is relatively common even to achieve if you're really, really trying. But, 90% win rate with 20, 30, or 40 games is uh, only possible if you have, for some reason, found something that Arena is incapable of dealing with with the current algorithm in place. The last time, for example, I did that, I got uh, rank 100 plus or something like that, and we were playing Historic Lurus. Well, not Lurus, again. Uh, Core Spirit Dancer. And it was the Immortal version. It was Orzov, Core Spirit, Immortal, Core Spirit Dancer. I had all the things that gave a lifelink... And the card was unremovable. Essentially, it was good enough to uh, out completely out-aggro Mono Red. It was good against Elves. And it actually outplayed uh, basically any kind of life gain, uh, life gain build that did not just drop a Johnny that cost 4. But no one did that. And that's where I actually did have a 90% win rate with 40 plus games. And we got the Mythic. But... That, that was, that's extremely rare. Now, I don't know if, uh, how lucky that person was uh, who got to rank 40 mythic by playing this. But, you know, there, there's a good chance. And this is probably a fateful absence off the top. Humans. Okay, a little bit annoying. So that means we need rats, boys. We need rats, okay. 
Uh, that's a bit expected, but it's fine. Let's see what happens. If we get the sudden down, humans are slow, so we should be able to win this. It kind of depends on all uh, how value the sudden is going to be. For example, if he has removal against sudden instantaneously, it's going to be bad. But if he doesn't, we kind of in the clear. But currently, what can I tell you about playing this? It does seem that we always have the lands, which is phenomenal. We always have a reasonable curve, which is, again, phenomenal. So, I'm not sure if wizard, if this is currently like a bug build, because wizards can't deal, uh, wizards for some reason can't deal with this. I'm not 100% sure, okay? And that's a big deal. Okay, drop the sodden and... Hmm. Do I actually... If he didn't do that... Okay, we, we must do the minus two, okay? Uh, in a lot of situations, by the way, here it's better to plus one the sodden. Because you want... Yeah, you see, you want some kind of card advantage. Because you never know what's gonna happen. And if stuff like this happens, you know, you kind of lost the sodden. You don't gain too much, blah, blah, blah. All of that good stuff. In any case, I'm gonna skip the turn here. Because even if this is a 3-3 where he's playing soldiers, which means he can't really do too much damage to me, I'm not worried. HP is a resource that can easily go to 1, and I'm pretty confident I'm probably gonna survive it. Cat on purple, by the way. So yeah, plus we have a depopulate, so if he plays like 2 cards here, I'm actually super cheeks. Interesting. Do I actually risk it and give him another turn? Depending on what we draw, right? Sheldred's either, huh? If we drew a land, I would depop instantly, but we didn't draw a land. Can I risk it more? No. No. We're gonna have equivalent cards, and that was a 3 4 1 exchange, so good enough. You know, we have to see. He's drawing a land. Whoa! Yeah, you see, this, this this is the problem hour. Okay, and... There's no shot he has another one, right? There's no shot. Okay, let's play it safe. Let's, let, let's play it safe. You know what? Let's not play it safe. Let's be completely moronic about it. Oh, no, that misclick is gonna probably cost us. Oh my god, he's gonna draw a land. He already should have drawn a land last turn, but he didn't, but he's still not drawing a Oh no, this is so painful! Oh no, I messed up so hard by doing that. Ouch. Man, that, that, that hurts. Wait, I can't? Oh, I have five lands only? Wow, that's insane. Well, in any case, dude, let's hope for the best, okay? Oh, I messed up so badly there. This, the, and, oh, oh, good. Whoo! Saved, boyo. Absolutely saved. Reveal, uh, no thank you. Okay, I like this, I like this. Oh man, that was such a huge... That's gonna actually uh, cost me the game. And that's rare. Again, I, I have said this a million times. You can misplay so many times in this dumb game and never be punished in the slightest. Oh, uh, let's see if he attacks. Oh no, he doesn't. Wow, what, what a not a giga chat, huh? Okay, well, uh, this is fine. Yes, 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 because this is pay life. Doesn't even matter. Pay life, still still good in the HUD. Who boys! Okay, if I draw a land and I get the Kaya, the absolute Okay, yeah, that that's that that's also fine. That you know what that's completely elf I know. Okay, let's see what happens now. Dude, this guy is he's gonna drop a four. Oof. Yeah, that's that's pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Let's see what he does, how he does it. Okay, he's doing it like that, huh? I need to get- oh! Oh my! Oh my my my! What a pie in the sky! Very interesting. Oh, uh, let's see... three... yeah, this is not a problem. 
We also have this, as long as we draw a land, it's... Oof. Well, that's a little bit frustrating, but we should be fine. Oh, yeah, we we cheeks, boys. We, 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 we in the cheek. Yeah, that's, that's the stuff. So he's gonna attack with one on Soren, which means... Dude, we should draw a land next turn, right? Yeah, this is a 33 land percent draw ratio game, so next uh, next draw is a land. Also, he probably got his fifth land by now. Why isn't he dropping it? Seems big sus, not gonna lie. Uh, what, what do you even do? You were the thing that does the stuffs. Okay. Do you think he's gonna go on full face? Just, just try and uh, draw the game out. Well, whatever, let's see. Wait, does this trigger when he attacks or when he deals combat damage? Got it, got it, got it. Absolutely, absolutely not even close. Okay, do this. And... I think I'm gonna wait. Again, HP is not a problem here, honestly. Let's see, finally got a land. Now I can cast this. I can kind of... that's the most important part, honestly. Let's see what we get. Mm. <sighs> Auto HP pulls a little bit sussy baka. This has trample. This also has trample. He has two cards, but he doesn't have haste effects, which kind of makes me think that this is gonna be fine. A little bit greedy, but you know. Hey, it's, uh, it's better to be a greedy Stevie than you know. Nothing. Nothing at all, boys. Oh, that makes it a 2-2. Two, two. That's amazing, actually. That saves the sudden. And now that's not a, that much damage. Okay, we can we can work with this. Man, I would be winning the game so hard if we did not misplay the Shreldrick CD, by the way, if anyone's wondering. Wow, we would have been absolutely slaying it. But it is what it is. A man has to live with their mistakes. And that's for you, not for me. I will lie about absolutely being innocent all the way through. You know what? In fact, I got slighted. I deserve a reprehension. No, re reprimandation. No, the, the good stuff. Does he have a... No, there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> Man, for the moment I was there like, oh wait, do you have an actual way to like do stuff there? You know, there's no shot, right? Yeah, there's no shot. He doesn't have any rats to touch the planeswalker, so playing around resources while I'm down to gain HP, and, you know, even if it's going on a 1 for 1, is very beneficial to us. You know, we. As a control player, you want to establish. You want to establish an advantage. You want to establish a big enough lead, you know, that you can, that you can do stuff. Oh, he's doing that. Interesting. He oh, he, that just means he also knows how to, uh, how to play the matchup. Very interesting. The reason I say that is, by the way, because well, it's true. This guy does know how to play because he went for card advantage. His best shot currently is just flood the board and I uh, hope that I don't have any kind of rat. That is his unironic best play. Which is kind of a sad play if you think about it, but it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. Ooh, yeah, you see that? This guy is literally like, dude, haven't seen this in a while. This is a wild card, by the way. Uh, plus one, one counter for each other non-token human you control. That, that, that's the big Lee sauce, okay? That, that, that's the sauce, man, right there. Let's see how he does this. If he attacks with the adversary for... Oh my god. Okay. Well, he did the Convoke. Which is kind of... Wait, how can... Oh, because you don't need to actually attack with everything. Right. Did this require three or four different uh, attacking creatures? Three or more cre... Yeah, three or more creatures with different power. Okay. So... Could have probably thought. Ooh, oh, that's actually problematic. Oh my, that is actually problematic, boys. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, that's actually problematic. I, I can't allow this to happen because that look effect is way too juicy. That that look effect is way too sprucey juicy. 
Uh, can't do that. And he just surrenders. Good, good. We had deep pop, so I wasn't worried about it, but yeah. So, as you can see, currently we're winning a lot, but I have to say, we are playing matchups that are in our favor. Currently, Wizards is not going for our throat. We are playing matchups, we are getting the curve, we are getting the lands. So, again, is this something that's currently slipping through the wizard's cracks? That's a good, that's a very good question. I'm not 100% sure yet. You know, we will see it when we actually see something of forced loss and then we see how wizards act. How many lands we get, what's the curve and blah blah blah. Uh, two lands, go for the throat, overwhelming life, deep pop, and sword. This doesn't look bad. Opponent goes first. Okay, so this is red aggro, finally. It definitely looks like a red aggro situation. He's probably gonna even have a one drop, most likely. Oh no, again with the aggro white, huh? Well, that's good for us. Uh, that is pretty good. We can do this if we want. We can sag the Talvada. Uh, what is this? Aura's possibly? I'm not even sure. He's not playing a lot, which is kind of good for us. Dude, we got a third land. This is insane. Currently, the biggest downfall of play... Wow. This is... Dude, this is so good for us. Because, again, currently the biggest downfall of playing control is the fact that you know, Wizards just doesn't give you the third land. You know, your aggro red player who's literally playing with five lands has all four, uh, five lands of his in the opening hand and then he never draws another one and he goes first. And yet, this control currently is kind of always getting the lands that we want. This is insane. This is pretty good. And if we get a fourth land and I drop a sword in this situation, He's probably worst case scenarioing, uh, ap going for the absence, which draws me a card, which is kind of good for control, you know. So let's see how it is. Smitty. Hmm. Botish name, my dude. Botish name. Not gonna lie. Okay. Well, in any case, uh, not worried about this again. White aggro. It doesn't have any haste effect, so whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue drawing. Didn't get the fourth land on curve, but you know what? Not too worried about it. That's annoying, though. That's something that you we, we would probably need to call annoying. Okay, whatever. Uh, instant. Uh, there's not gonna be a different target, okay? Maybe he plays another one, which would be annoying, but there's never gonna be a different target. Uh, four lands can Vrat cast Sorin minus... Yeah, minus two in this situation. We have enough of a card advantage plus the, uh, the invasion of Tolbada for this to be okay. Ah, uh, literally who cares? Overwhelming light. And by the way, why this completely OP in, control, in, in the control sense? Because, bruh, we can use much of Overwhelming Light. Which just deals with ossification. And ossification currently is kind of like the... One of the absolute unquestionable top tier best strongest removals that everyone uses. So, it's definitely a good time. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna say? We did almost the same thing a month ago. But now it does feel a lot more popular. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Even though this is something we did a month ago, now it just feels more powerful. It is what it is. Also, by the way, if we really, really want to, we could fit like one Vrask in here. If we really, really, really felt like it. Admittedly, your boy's not feeling like it, but yeah. So at this point, I'm just gonna start attacking, and that should be probably fine. And let's check, are there any new channel member joiners? Is anyone a big Giga Chad? And... No. No. <laughs> oh, he can surrender it. <laughs> Why does no one join? It's like, it's like, you know, Twitch things, you know? 
join button, dude, come on. Ah, uh, what are you gonna, what, what are you Twitch losers gonna do when they remove Twitch Prime, ah? Uh, let's do some real talk, boys. Twitch is gonna remove Twitch Prime at any point now, at any point. Literally probably a year left at the best of cases. Twitch is gonna remove Twitch Prime and what, what you gonna do now? Amazon is tired of giving you bo uh, giving everyone free money. What you gonna do then? Oh, I'm gonna go to a different platform. Yeah, those platforms are literally gonna do the same thing. You, you think Twitch, Amazon are doing stuff like this at random? No. They are doing it because they see the writing on the wall and they already know that this is gonna be how it's gonna end. They can't, they can't have these free subscriptions, they can't have this and they need to... Ah, eh, not good. This is definitely control, because this hand is way too El Clasico, honestly, but you know, whatever. So yeah, I wonder what's gonna happen, because Twitch is currently just doing all of their changes, because they know that they can't uh, avoid what's happening with Kick, Rumble, and all of those platforms, you know? Okay, that's, that's not that bad. Okay, so this is definitely a loss. Yeah, classic 65 COD player, Uvu, please, please, daddy, blah, blah, blah. Do you think he has a counter spell? Even if he has, like, it's not like I can actually avoid doing this. I don't think we have a shot. So, the, so question now is, this is, is this just we queued up in a bad matchup, or is this a forced loss? Because we are act, Dude, we're getting sorted. This is good. And now we can do this, and this is like a two-for-one type of an exchange deal if he goes for it, which is still absolutely sh wasty for us in fatal absence, okay. Okay, so even if this is some kind of forced loss type of scenario, we are still doing unbelievably well. Hello there, that's unexpected. Hmm. Yonder I wonder. I'm not sure what to expect currently. 65 cards or whatever. Yeah, maybe this is one of those special uh, boys, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's do this. Actually, wait, let's attack first. Let's see, maybe he has a play or something. So, he, we know we, he plays with counter spells, which means he has a counter spell in hand. Oh! Okay, that just made it... He can still cause the three-cost removal counter spell, but now, well, he no longer can... Oh, he doesn't have a counter spell. Wow! Okay, he does have removal for sudden. Probably an, uh, another faithful absence. That's fine. Okay, so this is not a loss. Because this is not the hand. This is not the situation with... What is this, a real game? I can't believe it, honestly. How can this be real? How can she slap me? You know, that type of situation. Wow. Wowie booa. Invasion of no one cares the card. Wow. Giga Chad. Well, he's gonna get rid of Soren, but... I, I mean, that's not a problem. Not gone my way. Yeah, we, we still get a card exchange win. Be my turn? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, it was his turn. Wow, I got carried away there, huh? <laughs> also, boys, uh, how are you enjoying Diablo? You know, you should be playing. Let's see. Oh, six, seven. Okay, time for the Liliana. If he has a counterspell, he's probably counterspelling it. Because I'm gonna use those plus ones like there's no tomorrow. Annoying, uh, I, ha I have cards that I don't need. And my opponent probably has cards that he does need. So let's see how this goes. Again, we're currently winning in the exchange. The these are plus one situations for us, minus one situations for him. Oh, uh, okay. I wonder if he's gonna minus two or minus one here. Oh, he minus two is okay. Oh, sh I, I don't even care to actually use up all the mana. Let's pretend that maybe we have removal or whatever. It's not a big deal. Okay, so he doesn't have any creatures, so this is blatant. Yeah, this is just absolutely blatant control. He may have some big creature, but it's if it's blue, white, and whatever, I don't even know. 
I don't even know, boys. Well, whatever. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, draw a card, see what happens. We still have the card advantage, technically. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Skip it. Yeah, this is not even a loss. This is... I, I thought th this could have easily turned into a forced loss from our opening hand, but this is not. This is absolutely not... Why does it look red? Oh, that's strange. Well, whatever. And this is a Kai. A grown-ass Kai. Do, do I risk it? If, if we just drop it, he probably concedes. I don't know how... Ah! He has it! He has the counter spell. Oh, oh, he had a negate. Okay, now I don't feel bad. I would have felt bad if he made disappear. That I would have felt bad, boys, about that one. Not gonna lie. Overwhelming light. Whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What a matchup. <laughs> so what's his win condition? Land? Yes. Land. Okay, that was expected. That was expected. So this is a 33% land draw ratio. What is happening? It's still good. Okay, if he if he counter spells the portal to Pyrexia, I literally could not care less, honestly. So, you know, also it's like a big deal to counter spell. He cycles for it. Yo, he afraid, boys. Impulse? Yo, this guy shouldn't win. Yeah, but I have a feeling he may actually have some kind of big creature. Hmm. Well, what am I supposed to do? We're just passing turns, essentially. Anyone have any idea what this is? It seems random. It does seem a lot random. But when you... Ah, there we go. That does make sense, though. So, yeah, this guy currently seems to be playing random things, pretty much. Like, Wizards is trying their utmost hardest to give him all the solutions to my Sorens and blah blah blah. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he had... Again, he's playing 70 cards. When was the last time you saw me win against someone who's... There we go, that's the creature. Uh, you just have basic hexproof and... that That's it? Unimpressed. What, what, look at the top cards, put one of them into your hand. Okay, right. Uh, no one... What? Nani? What, what do you mean that's a thing? Wait. When deals, combat, uh, or a battle, look at the top, put, put, Okay, this is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh boy, this is the stupidest thing I have ever seen in my life. Wow. So you're telling me I literally can't do anything against this god. Wizards, please. Okay, wizards, please. I'm gonna check my phone out of desperation. And there's text. I was naked while outside. Well, that's kinda hot. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Uh, no one cares that's what's happening here. Okay, so how do I deal with this? When no one more dragons you control deals combat damage you look at the top three cards you blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's why he wanted to get rid of that. Uh, cereal. Uh, how Dude, I I'm just gonna use everything. I, I don't care, okay? I literally could not care less. Okay, Liliana. Cheesy. I like it. Let's see what he discards. Again, this game is garbage. Yo, this matchup is Garbanzo! Okay, so he does have dragons. I was right about that. Yeah, so... So, Wizards is putting me up against a very bad matchup. Not because it's actually, like, a good build. I, he just kind of had all the solutions to what I was doing, and now he has a thing that I can't even... Wait a minute! He can't attack the Liliana. If he attacks the Liliana, this effect doesn't proc. 
Wait, let, let's lead it. But never one of the videos just put all the battle. Yeah. So it's okay. So he literally oh, okay, so his one shot, his one opportunity just got completely wasted just and he just fled. Oh my lord. I wonder if this was an intended loss. I'm exiling the graveyards, by the way. I wonder if this was an intended loss or not, because this is wild. This is just wild and stupid. No Kaya's- by the way, Kaya? No, land. Okay, the next one is a Kaya. Because 50% is gone, it's time to draw Kaya's. I could've- Memory dialogue, yo, then- Nah, this is just a pile of random MacGuffins. Wizards, again, I really wish you would start punishing people who are playing clear garbage. Literal, uncontested, clear garbage in ranked. No one is enjoying the fact that someone like this plays, and then you are rewarding them with a 50% win rate, even though they are clearly below, like, oh, that's also good. Big, uh, even though these people are clearly below, you know, average IQ, which I assume is like 70-ish. No idea. Oh, uh, yes, 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 play, play that shit, boy. Let's, let's see it, believe it. May no, wait, D do you have protection for this? Non-token creature. <laughs> I'm such a moron, it's insane. Anyway. Yep, there we go. Negate. Wow. Call me, call me, call, call me surprised. Okay, so what's the play here? Make him mill himself? No, my HP is gonna run out before that. Dude, this is so stupid. So, yeah, this is the... So, is this a forced loss or not? If I just draw Kaya, which by the way is unbelievable that we haven't, he technically can't deal with her. And there is a chance that this person has only two negates. That there, there is a huge chance that this person only has two negates, as stupid as, as that may sound. Because his build is just random cards, pretty much. Okay, very fast. Amazingly. Ah, uh, but whatever. Maybe this is a bot. Hideki, Hideki NG, okay. Wait, is mill a possibility? Because, man, this guy is just... Oh, there we go, there we go, anointed. Uh, okay, that's annoying. Yo, what do you mean you're gonna play a so Oh, wait, that's the bad Sarkon. Dude! Well, it's not really bad per se. Dragon spells cost one less. I was thinking about making uh, dragons instead. Dude! Wizards! Blatantly uncool. Blatantly uncool. Also, negate? No, impulse. Okay, impulse is fine, though. Oh, right, my, my, my... Oh, no! You can see that it's dirty because I'm walking barefooted. Oh, no, the tragedy, the travesty. What will I ever do now? Except nothing, because I literally could not care less. Ah, uh, man, what am I supposed to do here? He has a card advantage, and he's slowly dealing damage. Okay, that's 43 damage. Oh, wait, that doesn't even hit me. Bruh! Uh, what is this? Vard 2. When you cast the spell at blah blah blah... Okay, dude, this is so stupid. Bruh! This is actually the dumbest thing ever. Pay to life. Oh, four cost. Ah, uh, sure, let's just do this. Whatever. Literally could not care less. Do you think he's gonna counter spell? No? Okay. Well, we're not milling him, but technically. There we go! Finally! Finally! Now the problem is, we actually don't currently have- Okay, so he can't do anything against this guy. It's literally there, it's sticky, it's icky, and it's the hell is- DUDE! 
Are you gonna do three damage to me or something? Because again, this does not. He doesn't even know. Probably doesn't target Kai. But no, he made. Okay, he made the choice pretty fast. Again, and now technically that leaves this dragon thingy vulnerable if he chooses to go for the Kai. But will he though? What will he choose? Oh my lord! What is? Dude, you literally have- yeah, that's your sadly only choice, MacGuffin, my dude. Wow, this game is stupid. Okay, so... what now? Do I draw good things? No, a Celestus. Well, I can't go for the mill strat, so I might as well Celestus, honestly, and just, uh, do the night. Okay, well... A play's a play, I guess. Again, as long as this cup. Eh, uh, useless MacGuffins. Okay, good enough. Good. Bruh. I am so pissed. <laughs> Actually pissed. But we can draw another Kaya. Yeah, we can draw another. Dude, do you think we're gonna win just by damaging him with Kaya? Because we're gonna draw another Kaya soon. Literally. 4, 4 out of 24, 1 in 6 is gonna be a Kaya draw. Because we have 2 more Kayas and 2 more thingy, thingy wingies that do stuff. So, yeah, okay, is he giving up? Is he not- Oh my lord, this is even stupider! Fizzards! I- No one wants to play against these people and even have a slight inkling chance of losing! You're currently fellatioing this guy until- DUDE! DUDE! He has had 15 orgasms already! Wizard, stop! You're killing this poor sucker! Oh my- Stop it! No one will ever- No person who ever loses against this guy is gonna be like, Wow, this was a great experience, thank you, Arena. Nah! They're gonna literally go for the delete Arena key. Because it's bind at this point, most likely. Oh my god. Losing... Lose, being forced lost against someone like... Th oh, that's actually pretty neat. A forced loss against someone like this is just beyond reprehensible. Uh, I don't even want to live on this planet anymore if I have to f suffer a forced loss against someone like this. Oh, by the way, he can't actually do anything. Oh, no, he can't, uh... So, he can't actually do the thing where he... The, uh, burning down the house, and then he can attack with this on the Kai, and that does work. But... Actually, he can just, you know, devils. No, wait, devils... kind of not good. So this guy literally doesn't know what to do. So he does farewell for everything. Which does literally kind of nothing. Because the Kai is not in the graveyard still even. Okay, so this guy can't even predict the... F oh! Okay, got it, got it. Right. Uh, very impressive. Said literally probably no one ever... Okay, he's out of con uh, he's out of removals, which means the worst case scenario there's just one more uh, one more make disappear. I think he's out of negates. Or did he have three negates? I think he has two negates because it looks like that type of situation. But there is there, there is that. Okay, now he's just doing dude. This guy's just doing random things. I have viewers who are saying that they are struggling to get out of gold, and, and this this guy is literally here. Technically, the top 20% of the player base, I think, or what, something like that. It's ridiculous. The forced win... The, the, this guy has literally just played enough games for the forced win to accumulate to 51%, and there you go. You're, 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 you're a giga chat. Amazing. Okay, so he's gonna do this. That doesn't even do anything, by the way. Yo, this guy's gonna run out of Zaza soon. That's insane. Abs- I can't. Uh, I can't take- You see why I can't take this game seriously? I can't. I tried, and th there it is. My mind's just going at it. Uh, 
I, I, I'm just feeling disappointed. I want to press the concede button because, dude, this is most likely a forced loss. Be and this is the worst. Wizards. In a normal situation, my forced losses are when, when wizards literally does. Dude, I can't buy By the way, now I can just minus three this. I can literally. Wait a minute, why do you not have hex proof? Why? Why do you not have hex proof? Oh! As long as okay, that that's that's interesting. I did not actually know that. Okay, uh, right. So there we go. Your only win condition is literally out of the picture, and now you're ah. Uh, yeah, this was definitely a forced win. <laughs> So my next game is gonna be absolutely horrible because we know how this works. If you win a forced loss, next time Wizards is not taking their chances, okay? You're gonna either have a 90% land draw ratio or a 1% land draw ratio. Your opponent's going first, it's 1 drop, 2 drop, 3 drop, 4 drop, 5 drop, and at best case scenario, you're actually gonna get to play your first card at like turn 5. And that just happened. Right. And another one! And a literal another one. Yo. Well, actually, what do I care? <laughs> I, got, I got the abandoned mire. What, what do I care, boyos? What do I care? Look at this, boy. I'm probably gonna mill one Kai. No! Wow, that that was questionable. Okay, well, let's see it. No shot! Oh, yeah, no shot. Okay, so this is the third that we... Uh, this is the third dragon that we deal with. So, do you think he just has another one? By the way, I com I'm completely aware I could have plused one and probably won the game next turn without any recompense or problems. But this is personal, okay? We we have made it to the personal level. Dude, if this guy AFKs now because he's actually mad that he lost. Okay, that just happened. Right. Do you think he has a third one? Fourth one. I want to deal with the fourth dragon. One, two, three. Yeah. So he has a fourth. He's definitely gonna. Oh my. Okay. Unexpected. Wow. What up? <laughs> what up, boo? How you doing? Is everything is everything all right? Okay, nice, nice, nice. I like it, I like it, I like it. Anyway, plus two now. Next turn we can plus two and probably replay the Kaya and that's the win. Yeah, but our next game is gonna probably be harder. So yeah, all of our matchups currently are just good. Even this, which was 100% a forced loss because there's no absolute way, way this, uh, this Giga Chat brainlet is ever winning a game without wizards actually actively interfering with, with how things are done. Like, mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. So, what? He's gonna attack. Get a land. No one literally cares. 2 HP. 2 HP, boy. Also, another guy. What up? Okay, so we won a forced loss. This next game is gonna be probably the most devastating thing ever. And if it's not, then th I, I I will say this. If this is if this next game is not an absolute the biggest forced loss in the history of forced losses, then this then this is currently just getting through the system. Which is insane. Oh, and by the way, anyone who wants to put Edward in this build because, you know, uh, cool card, no, don't. It's it's actually useless. 
Chances are when you play him, someone's gonna exile him. Plus, he's a Ford, 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 and he's too slow. No, if he had lifelink on his own creature card, not on the tokens he creates, he would be good. But since that's not the case, and he doesn't have lifelink, he's kind of bad. So, two white lands, nothing to cast, Pyrexian portal. I'm gonna keep, but probably against red. Okay, half right. Still got a third land! There's no shot this is legal! The hell is this? You may discard a card if you do draw a card. Oh. Is this boy gonna combo us? Is, is that's what's is that what happening? It, do you think he's just gonna turn five and instantaneously Pyrexian portal? I think that may happen, but we have zero creatures. <laughs> well, admittedly, he has creatures. Wait a minute. No, no, don't do it. Yeah, the, the, I, I think he's just gonna uh, Pyrexian portal, uh, get the Pyrexian portal out on turn 5. Again, I, I, I see literally no world where this is not gonna be the most ridiculous forced loss ever. And the thing is, what can I actually do against it? Not much. Let's see if he discards a creature. No? I'm so confused, it's beyond belief. Uh, anyway. Yeah, might as well, Union. Why not? Okay, cool. Useful, at least. Uh, me likey. No land, but me likey. Okay, that kind of works. Even if he gets the portal, well, what's the portal good if he can't actually get anything out, you know? Farmhand. Well, farmhand was also kind of expected. Huh. No land yet again. No land yet again. Might as well ditch my own Pyrexian portal. Maybe it's gonna be a portal battle. Dude, there's no shot he doesn't have a way to just get the portal out of the graveyard right now. There's no shot. This is literally that. There we go. He probably had it on turn. Uh. Oh right. This is really annoying. He probably had that by. Jeez, wizards, come on. Like, let, let let's be a little bit. You know, again, again. I told you this is gonna be the, uh, the yeah that that last game was a forced loss. Our enemy just literally completely grossly neglected it, and that was a bad play also. True, but then again, what does it matter? If I if I fare well the portal and the graveyard, we can actually, by the way, completely schwaze this dude. But it kind of depends. <laughs> oh oh my, we're actually doing it, huh? Uh, definitely depopulating. I don't care if he gets a farm hand. He probably has a fair will of his own. But again, if we if we just strike gold and get la uh, get six lands, farewells, dude. Do you think we can win this? So you're telling me this is a pot so I'm playing against the forced loss. Technically, we have bad everything, but we have a shot at winning because you know we get better draws than average. Because again. For a forced loss, man, uh, these these draws feel actually so unbelievably good. Not even gonna lie, boys. Not even gonna lie. These draws feel absolutely amazing. Because we actually have a shot. If this was a casual forced loss, we would have already been completely over again. Like, you know, no land... Well, we haven't played anything for like eight turns now, but you know... Uh, a little bit better than expected on a lot of accords. So do this. He probably doesn't have a way to deal with Soren, and my HP should be fine. We can win this! This is insanity! We can actually win this! Even though he has such an unbelievable advantage, we can still win this because he's slow. This is, by the way, a mistake a lot of people make. And by the way, even I still, uh, still make it. Oh my god, a Titan of Industry, that's insane, yeah. Well, the... 
Oh, big boy, big, 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 big boy. Okay, well, doesn't exactly matter too much for us. Uh, farewell, Celebi, and have all, all of that good stuff. I think he's gonna surrender after that, by the way. I would not be surprised in the slightest if he just presses that surrender button right now. Or play, plays another portal. That also wouldn't be exactly too surprising. And another one. My dude! Relax, chillax. It's, you know, it's not a big deal, you know? You know, Esse? Oh, uh, well, he thinks he's out of options. Kind of technically almost agree with him, even. Doesn't look like he has a lot going for him at this moment. I am gonna do this, and, you know, if he's smart, he's gonna take, take the exile option. And, obviously, he does. Two lands! Jeez, Louise! That's unlucky! Because he has gotten, uh, how many He has gotten, like, five free lands or something. But this is what happened when we did the mono-white ramp thing. Ooh, big. This is what happened when we did the mono-white ramp thing, right? Yeah, there's the Perexian portal, as expected. Do you even have anything? Uh, yeah, it's actually worthwhile just exiling you, huh? LOL. <laughs> Hey, look at that! Who's back with a brand new whatever? Sorry. Oh, big! He can't deal with her. He can't. Dude! Was this a. I can't even tell if this was a forced loss. Because we had the farewells. Admittedly, this is kind of the balance that I'm talking about. Uh, this, this deals with everything graveyard exiles, everything exiles. Just, it, it just works, you know? It literally another sword, and sure, why not, Chief? You know, we, we just can deal with everything. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. And again, this is kind of not us even playing super seriously, because again, uh, Portal to Py we have Portal to Pyrexia, we don't have four Kayas. I think this is seriously just something that's magically slipping through the cracks. This definitely feels like a slipping through the cracks situation currently. Because it's just too perfect. It, it, the matchups that we are playing are just way too one-sided for us. We're playing against people who honestly can't do anything and, well, this is one of those rare Soren ultis. What a time to be alive. Wow. So, amazing. It, it's just a build that's slipping through the cracks. We, we're playing constantly just 100% favorable matchups. This is stupid. Well, I'm uploading it, so you know Wizards is gonna hotfix this bad boy. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I got... I, I love it. Every time I... Every time that something like this happens, it's like, oh, someone builds the build, and then they're like, I made it! Now I have zero wins and 50 trillion losses! Because Wizards just hot fixes it the next day. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Absolutely unbelievable. I... Those last two games were 100% also forced losses. There's, there's just no shot. We constantly had good land draws. We constantly had a good balanced hand. It's like, my average video, it's like, Wizards is like, <laughs> Here, you have, you have six cards that are five plus mana cost? Well, here's three games in a row where you have two opener lands, and all of those expensive. And this one's just getting constantly a smooth curve. Mid game plays, late game plays. When we need it, we draw it. This is insanity. This is absolutely slipping through the cracks. Wow. Well, anyway, this was Quizzer Said Send. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have a nice day. Bye bye.